Greetings, unsettled souls. Oh, man. There's no way not to be unsettled by this. I, this is just stuff we we'll even have to be talking about. Let's get right to it, friends. My Fox 8. Afghans desperate to escape the Taliban hold on to the military jet as it takes off and they plunge to their depths. Now, uh, I did have some trouble finding the video. You may wanna, I, I had, you can't see it on the video. I, I went ahead and took a screenshot of it, but be warned, it, it's, not a, it, it's not a pleasant thing to see. It's not gory or anything, but here it comes. This is, uh, it's gotta be the thumbnail on this. So you probably saw it when you clicked it, but Unfortunately, that is two people. Um, two people falling from the plane. And they, they had to take off. I mean, you know, people, they shouldn't have taken off. They had to take off. They were going to swarm the plane. God only knows what would have happened. Uh, they probably would have, some of the people there weren't peaceful. They may have, may or may not have harmed the crew or harmed the plane. Stopped the people that were getting out from getting out. They had to go. And you and it's not Antifa. You, Antifa, you know why the way Antifa gets run over? Because Antifa stands in front of the car. Um, I have a bit more sympathy for these people because Antifa has a bunch of imaginary villains in their head. They're real villains in these people's heads. Uh, the Taliban are some of the most vile, warped, evil people ever. As I said, uh, I agree with Paul Joseph Watch and some cultures are better than others. Um, the one video on this is confusing to me because the guy looks like he's at a party and I, it may be in the other in the other video I had. If not, it's, it's all over the news. You'll see them chasing the damn airplane. And one guy's like, and he's smiling and like, what? What is wrong with you? I don't know if I have time to get to it in this, but let me read this first. Thousands of Afghans rushed into Kabul's main airport Monday, some so desperate to escape the Taliban that they held onto a military jet as it took off and plunged to their death. At least seven people died in the chaos, U.S. officials said, as America's longest war ended with its enemy, the victor. The crowds came, it says, while the Taliban enforced their role of the capital of five million people after a lightning advance. Yeah, we were told it wasn't going to, ha it wasn't going to take, you know, it wasn't going to happen right away. And they said, it's not going to happen over a weekend. Guess what? It happened right over a weekend. I'm not going to read the whole Fox story to you there. But this is also ties into it, and it's from the New York Times. Um, body parts found in the landing gear of the flight from Cabal. Harrowing video shows uh, from Afghan news. Let me go to Fox. I do know that Fox had the video up earlier. It's worth seeing. The, again, why in seven hells didn't they already have... And again, I'm in favor of leaving. I'm delighted that we left. But why did we leave in a way that we didn't get people out first who we knew needed evacuated. Why didn't we destroy the weapons that they're now taking? I meant to mention this earlier, Mike Trevisano on 1100 AM said that. And now what these people have, what they have to face is such a, an unbelievable horror, there's the video, such an unbelievable horror that they're grabbing onto the airplane how they thought they were going to breathe up there is a mystery to me, but they did. Um, and, this is good as, and then out of nowhere is this one guy like waving at the camera, which I'm not really sure. I mean, so I, I, you saw this sometimes, though, especially among, I guess, impoverished or sheltered nations to whatever degree. I guess you did see this. Where even in the Holocaust, the, the, they were going into the concentration camps. And every once in a while, you'd see one of those poor people smile at the camera or something. Because they didn't see cameras a lot. 
maybe this is a news crew and even in all the chaos it's still like hey look at that a news crew you don't see that every day that's my guess but friends look at this you tell me this is weird i'm sorry it's weird that guy right there hold on let me full screen this watch him okay now the people grabbing onto the plane obviously but it's weird is anybody seeing this with me? For all the misery, there's happy... That... If I was to just crop this off and show you this, you would never know that these people were a part of this... What I hope, God willing, the saddest story that I report this year. It's very strange. Like, I'm not sure that all of these people were fleeing, which is probably one of the reasons that the pilot took off, among the other reasons I gave you earlier, he doesn't, I mean, like I said, there's a million reasons he could be smiling, but now here you'll see people, no, oh, these people, that's definitely not a happy face. Now, again, let's be fair. We report things fair. That's the kind of look on someone's face that you would expect to see, although I'm not sure, maybe he's hoping they're stop, they will stop. I'm not sure what they're still running for. Now, these are probably, I don't know that this is true, but this is, I'm not going to say it's some of the people who fell from the plane, but I will say that I suspect that these, this is exactly how it happened. Now, some of the other ones, I guess, were smashed in the rear well or something. They found their remains on the wheel, the gear. Uh, I don't have that video, but uh, I don't, wouldn't want it. But um, if nothing else, there is a, uh, that's a look at what we have. There were, the, Biden said that it, there were instances where they did not, they didn't fight for their own country. Somebody else on 6.40 a.m. today on the Sean Hannity show said that that was not a fair assessment because these people didn't have fuel, they didn't have the logistics that they needed, and the Afghan army hardly got paid. My question is this, how in the hell was that the case when we've been there for 20 years? Can someone explain that to me? I mean, we cannot continue to stay there. We gave them everything that we had. And now the Taliban has half of it. We should have never went. We should have flattened the Taliban for hiding bin Laden. And we should have come home. Now we've got this. I will say this, if nothing else, I'm going to close with this on this topic. The next time someone says that it's a good idea to go nation building, Maybe it would be a very good idea to define exactly what victory looks like, what it is, and to outline in what way we're leaving, which we shouldn't even go, but if we're, if we're going and we're leaving, what is the mission? How is victory defined as? And if it doesn't work, what point do we cut our losses? Because this, friend, this isn't victory. You want to know another way to do it? Maybe we just shouldn't meddle in other countries' affairs. That is the correct view. Good night, friends. God bless.